Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Mark or Mark, whatever you know me as, and welcome back to the Calgary Flames franchise. There hasn't been one because obviously in the last, if you've seen the I'm Not Dead video, which is like a minute long, go check it. Um, uh, basically I was sick and haven't had the motivation to make videos, but I'm back at it today. So let's continue our Calgary Flames franchise and you'll hear the click in three, two, one. There we go. And as you can see, we are in the preseason of the 2021-2022 season. We couldn't get over the major hurdle, but I think we've got a really good shot this year again. Because instead of, uh, if you've seen the off-season video, you'll know this. And you can probably see it by uh, looking at the first line. But we made a trade. We now have Goudreau, Monaghan, and Pasternak on the first line. Followed by Kachuk, Strom, and Sprung. Of, followed by Klimchuk, Jankowski, and Elias Lindholm. Um, who's in the last year of his deal, so he needs to perform in order to, oh, I don't know, secure a contract extension. Anywho. And then the fourth line will be David Krejci, Sammy Bennett. Actually, you know what? I'm going to swap Krejci for Bennett. Uh, because Bennett's face-offs are an 81 and Krejci's an 83. And we have Curtis Lazar on the fourth line. On defense, here's where it becomes fun, because as you can see in the scratched, we have Stone and Byram. The thing is, we are not going to have Byram scratched, because Yusuf Alamaki is not going to be playing. Yusuf Alamaki will probably go down to the AHL. Also, uh, I realize where our third thing will be, because we have Corpy Salo, Johnny Gillies, and that's it. Why do we only have two goalies? Or why do we only have two scratchers and it's only a... Mm, you so Balamaki, you can go down. Um, in the system. Forwards! There we go. Dylan Dubé! And... You know what? Let's go with... For now, Hunter Shinkaruk. Just as the guys... Just to scratch. We have, on defense, Peter Langelo. Who's not in his last year of his deal, but he's still damn good. We have Noah Hannafin, who's got two years remaining. We had, on the second line, we have Travis Sandheim, who's in the last year of his deal, because I think we're going to re-sign him. He's actually done quite well for us in the last couple of seasons. 21 and 19. Um, yeah, I will take that in a heartbeat. So, we also have Vladimir Grachev. Granted, it's preseason, so we don't know fully everybody. But, um, Vladimir Grachev, 86 overall, 3 bar. So, he's probably like an 88. Um, yeah. First year in the AHL, 20 points, and then split time, 7 games in the AHL last year, and most of the NHL time, 12 points, and yeah, he didn't show up in the playoffs, but apparently nobody did in the playoffs because we lost in 5 games. We have Rasmus Anderson on the third line, who scored 12 points in the last 2 seasons, and then we have Bowen Byram. WHL, he's amazing. NHL, he scored nine points. So, um, let's check out the, uh, not extras. Special teams, power play. Um, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna move Petey Bird up here, and then Petey Bird back here. So we're gonna have, uh, a Goudreau, Monaghan, and Blank. You know what? Let's have Daniel Sprong in, uh, the first line. Power play just to see how that goes. And then the second line will have not Kachuk. Um, let's have Klimchuk. Yes, we have a lot of Chucks. Kachuk, Shinkaruk, and Klimchuk. This is going to be the Chuck team. Klimchuk, Strom, and not Daniel Sprong again. Um, let's go with Elias Lindholm. Um, I think that'll be a pretty good combination. And then in defense... Um, Gracias a two-way defenseman. Sandheim's a left-handed shot. So let's go with uh, Sandheim and Petey Bird on the power play. Uh, I'll worry about the four-man later. Actually, you know what? Let's just do the four-man now. Um, Stroman Pasta, Sandheim and Randers or Randerson. Uh, let's just go with that. Sandheim and Petey Bird right there. Uh, Anderson and Hennepin right there. So, power play, or penalty kill, sorry. Sammy Bennett, uh, yes. Monaghan, no. Krejci, yes. Because this is kind of why I wanted David Krejci. 26, 44, 42. But he's got more giveaways and takeaways in every single season. It's 
That's true, yeah, in every single season we've uh, simulated. And then instead of Curtis Lazar... We're gonna have Manny Kachuk on the second uh, penalty kill line. Along with, not Sanheim, but we're gonna have Bowie Byram on the second defensive line. For the penalty kill. Uh, yeah, so instead of Sanheim, it would be Bowie Byram. There we go. Uh, better than Chankowski. That should be... Not, let's just make Krejci the, uh, first line, uh, for that. Um, four on four, extra attack, uh, extra attackers, Goudreau, Monaghan, that's fine. Um, Astronaut, Goudreau, Monaghan, Strom, Sprung, that's all fine right there. And as you saw in the Al season episode, we signed Junius Corpi Salo. Oh, I'm happy. I tried to get... Uh, I forget who it was. I believe we tried to get Tuka, or no, we tried to get Doomnik, and I hate how this game takes three days to respond to you, and you want to try and get the other guy, but it takes three guys, three days to respond to them, and you don't want to run into salary cap issues if they both sign, blah, 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 blah. So, we went with, I'll be honest, the third best option in Junus Corpisalo. He's been playing behind Bobrovsky, so he hasn't gotten the real chance being... Uh, the starter, but in the three seasons that's been simulated, in a total of uh, 36, 46, 56, 54 games, uh, his save percentage, 921, 911, and 926. He obviously has not gotten the uh, playoff playing time, except for the AHL playoffs in 2015-16, but... I think Junis Corpisalo can lead us into a really good thing. So, uh, I'll just simulate the preseason, and I'll be right back. So, looking at the calendar after preseason, you see we start, we went 4-2. and two. After the first couple, after the first game, I'm thinking, oh god, it's going to be this type of season. And then the second game was an overtime loss, so I'm thinking, yay, it's going to be that kind of season. And then we strung together four straight wins before losing to LA, who we actually have to play for the first two games of the season. Yay. So, uh, let's simulate up to the LA game. Um, yay. I'm gonna let it as auto assign. So, we have the Los Angeles Kings versus the Calgary Flames. And for the first game, we're gonna do a real-time simulation. Uh, let's do goals. Uh, let me make sure my face cam's not in the way. Um, perfect. There we go. So, first period, nothing. I'm getting out shot 16-10, but that's okay. Second period, ooh, Pasta with the first goal of the season. On a beautiful rocket, apparently. And Sean Monahan, very nice, boys. So, third period, up to nothing, and go straight on the penalty kill, but it killed off. So, power play goal by Johnny Goudreau on a really weird angle again. I love these weird angle shots. Another power play... Nothing. That was a five-minute power play, apparently. Another goal for David Krejci. He gets on the board. Let's go, boys. And we open up the season with a shutout win over the Los Angeles Kings, and we outshoot them 38-32. Eunice Quippy Salo gets the um, shutout in his first game. Um, hello? You're already better than I thought you would be. Um... Three stars of the game are obviously going to be Eunice Corpisalo for the um, shutout. Um, move my camera right here so you can still see my face, but you can see the stats. Sean Mahan, second star, one goal, two assists, four hits, and Pasternak, one goal, two assists, no hits. So that was a beautiful first game. Um, will we continue that? Like the real-time simulation for most things? Absolutely not. Because we're just going to simulate the first month of the season and see how we go from there. Probably gonna end it after that. Uh, just get the video out there. And if you're new, like the button, like the video. Or if you're old, <laughs> if you're old here, we again a four-one win. Nice. Um, hit the like button. Subscribe if you actually are new. Let me know down in the comments where do you think we'll finish up. Do you think we'll be division champs again? Do you think we'll actually make it out of the first round, unlike the Wild in most playoffs? Um, hello, Eunice Kirby Solo. Do you think we're not going to make the playoffs at all? Let me know down in the comments while this is simulating. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'll check out the draft class in a second. Our only losses in 
shootout loss. Two shootout losses, and that's it. Um, so far, so good. Also, Florida Panthers are 6-1 and one early in the season. Yay. Uh, Dalton Proud. That's nice. I'm sorry you have an injury. Another win. New Jersey Devils at home for two win. Away to Canucks. Beat them 5-1. Back in. Beat Vegas 2-0. Hello? Um, I know it's just early in the season, but. Columbus 4-1 win. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to end the video right here. Um, we're on a 10-0-2 to start the season, guys. Um, just checking out the po- Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, I think that signing was a good thing. So, through 12 games played, Goudreau and Pasta are on 16 and 13, respectively. Monaghan's on 10 through 12. Curtis Lazar's on 11 points. Our fourth line right wing is on 11 points in 12 games. Krejci, our fourth line center, is on 10 points. Ah, oh, and Sammy Bennett's only on 6. How dare he? But, um... Yeah, Lindholm's on 9, third line. Klimchuk, 9 on the third line. Petey Berg, top defender so far. Strom... Strom honestly could get up there in points. Sprung in 6. Uh, Jankowski, 6. Bennett, 6. Kachuk on 3, which... Makes me disappointed, but... As a power forward, he's, I guess he's really not going to do that much. Byram on two. Uh, Hannafin on two. Grachev on two. Sandheim on one. And the Scratchers on nothing aside from Rasmus Anderson, who's on absolutely zero points. Yay. Goalies. And the only two overtime losses we have are thanks to John Gillies. Eunice Corpy Solo through the first month of the season... These numbers are outstanding. I'm going to move the camera so you can see the ones right above my head. 970 save percentage and a .89 goals against average. Hello? And an 85 overall? But, oh my god. I'm getting a little hype over here, but I think I have reason to. We're the only team obviously undefeated! Florida doesn't have any overtime losses, neither does Tampa Bay, but everybody else has losses. Vegas is dead last, but... Oh, and the Bruins are afraid to say... Anywho. Um, well, at least the Leafs are down there, too. Anywho. Um, yeah. After the first month of the season, we're on top of the league. Uh, President's Trophy winners... Quote unquote, through by by four points in the first seat in the first month of the season. Can we keep this up? Can Johnny Goudreau keep up his points? Find out in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.